This is our first time to the Caribbean. We decided to explore Sandals Resorts in Jamaica as our first stop. One reason is that Jamaica doesn't have too restrictive COVID-19 measures, and Sandals Resorts offer pre-return COVID tests. If we do get COVID, it has the insurance to cover our quarantine stay at the resort. Sandals has several different resorts in Jamaica. We selected Sandals Ochi and Sandals Montego Bay. This is the first of the six-part series on this trip. Sandals has a reception room at the airport. You are met there by Sandals staff who also directed us to the shuttle bus. The bus took about 90 minutes to reach Sandals Ochi, located in the Jamaica town of Ochi Rio. Sandals Ochi has two sections, hillside and the beachside. There is a shuttle every five minutes or so going between them. You can also walk to reach the other side under 10 minutes. There is a rather busy road in between. If you do walk, the gate guard will come to the middle of the road with a stop sign on hand to stop the traffic for you. Both hillside and beachside have their own restaurants, pools, and other activities. You can go to any of them, no matter which side your room is located. Sandals Ochi Beach has the three sections that they are all clean and private. Facing the ocean, the middle one is barricaded by rocks with the restaurants and the massage parlors built on them, forming a more peaceful water area where people can drink on the anchored net floats or just have fun in the water. The section on the right is quieter. This is also where the water activity center is. Unfortunately, during the days we were there, the wind was too strong for any water activities until the last day of our stay. Just before we leave, the wind quieted down a bit. So we hopped on one of these uh, hobby cats. We had about 10 minutes sailing time. It was a fun experience rising to the top of a wave and crashing down along with it. Pretty much all non-motorized water toys are available at the water activity center, still only weather permits. The beach on the left is adjacent to the beach club, with the most chairs for sunbathing. This is the area you have several different restaurants within two minutes walk. This is also where the resort marina is. The elderly Jamaican would park his little colorful boat in the water all day long with his wood carvings on display for sale. Beach club is where the most activities are, including scuba center. While we were there, there was a night of music party. We each got an earphone at the entrance. It was all loud when speakers were blaring away. Sometimes everyone switches to his her earphone and they just watch how everyone dancing away without a sound. Sandals Ochi does keep its guests entertained every night. We also attended a reggae night, a lively performance presented by local artists. Oh, 
Sandals Ochi is quiet once you are away from the beachfront. In its rather big complex, one can even do some meditation, watching the calm fish swimming in roadside ponds. Even though Julia and I have been to many luxury resorts, we were still impressed by the Sandals Ochi. It was a great first stop into the Caribbean. I will talk about the services and the restaurants at Sandals Ochi in upcoming episodes. For our star rating, Sandals Ochi is a great value for lazy world travelers. <laughs>